Hey guys, Darcy here with another Luna's Tips and Tricks. Um, today we're just going to go over something really simple but super important, which is working with the grid, how to make sure you're snapping, when to not be snapping, and uh, some short keys around managing that because I find this stuff super beneficial for moving quickly and you need to know these things. So let's jump in. Okay, so right now I have some beat pulled up here. It's not a very good one, so we're not going to play it. Um, but you're going to see that right now we have the grid in it. And if you notice, it's pretty um, fine-tuned at the moment, okay? Now let's look at where the values are for this. On the top left, we will see this grid option where my mouse is clicked. And there's multiple options. you got bar, beat, so your quarter notes. Or if you are, you know, doing a 3-4 timing, then it would be, you know, on, on, on a whatever third uh then you have your half your, your quarter your eight sixteenth all the way down to 64 and your dots and your triplets can also be applied to to get in between now beside that we have snapping and if you click this little right drop down we also have relative snapping which we'll come back to um and so these are essentially um, the values of which you're going to look at the grid by. So if I were to switch this back to a bar, we'll see we're going to go by a whole bar. And when we select anything, it's going to select it by an entire bar. Now, these two tracks I have here are in a group. That's why they're both being selected at the same time. If I take that group off, then it'll only go by the single one. Talk about that in another video. But right now, the thing I like about this is that when you have it snapped to the bar, you are certain that when you cut and you paste and you move things around, let's say I, I cut, I copy this and I paste, I'm not going to accidentally land in a random measurement that is not the beginning of the bar. I've had this in other DAWs like Logic where I'm working and moving quickly and then something is slightly off the grid and then you don't realize it until somewhere down the line and it's super annoying. So... But sometimes that's this is not what you want. Sometimes you need to make that minor movement. And you see here I'm kind of dragging. So let's let's talk about how do I do that? Well, with my mouse, if I click and I drag by normal, it's gonna go by the grid. But if I hold the command button on my keyboard and click and drag, it'll start wherever I start and it will drag out. So a nice way to make sure you start on the grid and click out is click with your mouse. Start pulling out and hold the option, the command button, sorry. And as you hold it, it will go where you are. If you let go, it'll snap again. And you command any point, it'll go back on. So I'm holding command, I'm not holding command. Holding command, I'm not holding command, right? Now, what if we want to turn the snapping off? Well, we can either go up here and click the snap and go off, and then we can do whatever we want. Or we can um, do a uh, shift. And then the, I don't know, the backspace, the button underneath your delete on the Mac keyboard. It's going to then um, take the snap off. So shift, if you watch up here where my mouse is right now, this will go on and off. So shift, backspace, on, off. Off, on, right, with the keyboard. Now, what if I want to do short keys on the grid? If I hold shift and go plus, it'll go through the menu going down the list and if I go negative it'll go back through the list I find this super beneficial so much easier than clicking around okay and then um, from here you know I'm basically able to you know grab what as I want so if I want to make sure I only grab a little bit then I can make you know quick chops right and paste things together and kind of blend them, and I'm moving quickly. This, that's what I love about this. It's I know the DAWs have this, some don't, but it's super important to know to use this if you're using Luna because it's just going to make things much more efficient. Where this becomes very, very beneficial, let's say we bring this open here, and let's say we have this uh, our first version of this uh, Vox flute, right? I'm going to delete all this. Don't need this anymore. So let's say we go here and we, let's say we had multiple versions. So I'm just going to make some dupl duplicates, right? Um, actually, we'll just delete this, this uh, the current one. So let's say there was, uh, these two were different. So I'm going to reverse this just for an example purpose. So reverse this, right? And let's say I wanted to comp between this one and the last one, okay? Well, I could go, okay, let's say I like this part here, these, these three notes, okay? So I grab, I go Command V. I go back up to my old version and click command, like or command C, command V, right? 
paste and I just know with certainty that I'm putting this in the right place based on whatever I'm planning to do. Whereas if it's not snapped to a grid, I could click with my mouse and be slightly off. So if I take that that snapping off, right, I could be clicking anywhere randomly and it just kind of did not mean to play that. Um, and uh, it could just go anywhere and it won't be what you're desired for it to be. So snapping, super beneficial love working with it and uh, something you definitely need to be using also one last thing relative snapping um, that can work where something needs i forget exactly the example right now because i don't use it super often but sometimes you'll get something where it's slightly out of the grid and you use relative snapping when you want to make sure that like you're going to go up a bar and it's going to paste um, but i just can't usually keep everything to the grid and work with it that way anyways Peace, y'all. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, like, comment, all of that jazz.